Today we have a wall clock that we picked up on the weekend at a market. I know absolutely nothing about it, have never seen one before, but we're going to investigate and see what it is. That's the pendulum for it. It's a chiming clock. It has three trains. And the first thing we'll do is try to find out what the brand is. And it has eight rods. It chimes on eight rods. There you can see the rods it chimes on. Right, we're going to start to take this to pieces. As usual, the first thing we'll do is remove the hands. These will probably be stuck on pretty well because it's quite old. So I'll use a hand puller. I'll slide that under the minute hand and then turn this nut down. As it tightens, it will pull the hand off from the minute arbor. Okay. Minute hand has been removed. As you can see, it's broken at some stage. A really crappy soldering job done on it. So we'll clean that up and re-blue that before it goes back on. Now we want the hour hand to come off. Yeah. Oh, that was nice and easy. Not a problem. Yep, that'll be cleaned up, re-blued before it goes back on. There's not much we're going to be able to do with the dial. Because if we clean that up, we're going to have to redo the numerals. Okay, that's attached somewhere. Well, probably the whole lot comes out by the look of it. Right, we'll remove the entire clock movement now. First thing I see is one of the blocks that goes into the square hole on the side. Take that out. Then lift the clock movement out straight up like so. And there it is. Right. There you can see the rods it strikes on. Top of the rods, just there. The brand is written and it's Westminster Glockenspiel Model 107. We'll take the gongs out. Put them aside, they will all have to be cleaned. Let's see what we got. No, it might be steel actually. Yeah, it sounds tinnier than brass. After we've started work on the movement, we'll then do some work on the case. There's a strip missing here. piece missing there. I'll remake one of those. Then we'll strip it all back, get rid of all that varnish and crap on it. Probably give it a good coat of mahogany stain and then French polish it. Right, let's take off the gong. All these bolts have to be removed. We'll remove the rust off those before they go back. 
take them out carefully. The last thing we want to do is have anything slip and break the lovely glass on the door. I'll remove the other two off camera so we don't break the door. Okay, there's the rods we've removed. There, you can see the Westminster Glockenspiel, the model number 107. They were actually blued when they went in, so we will re blue them before we reinstall them. Oh, that'll be fun. The clock face has been held on by a couple of nails. One there and one on the other side. So I'll remove them. I'll remove them now. I'll have to do that off camera. That's not going to come off too easily. This is the chime side winding arbor. This is the going train winding arbor. And this is the strike train winding arbor. This is the snail. This is the rack that sits on the snail. This wheel here covers the chiming hammers. When that lifts, like so, you can see the hammers working. This cam is currently set for the half an hour, the double strikes. When I lift that, you'll see the hammers start to move up here. The first sequence. Now that's finished. Lift it again. We'll do the third quarter. And I'll turn it round. You can see the wheel down here, the back activating the hammers and I'll lift the lever for the hour. It's in serious need of some service which we will do soon. but it appears to be striking in the correct sequence. 